Hey, what's up, family? I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, two Crazy, Crazy Ketos. Ketos. You know, Cinco de Mayo just passed, and it really made me miss Mexican food. Yep. So today, we are going to make a super simple Mexican chicken dish. And we'll do it right, right after, after this. this. So if you're new to our channel, welcome. Like I said, my name is Joe. And I'm Rachel. And we're Two Crazy Ketos. And here on our channel, we do different things like product reviews. We do recipe videos like we're gonna do today. Uh, we talk about different keto topics. And then once a week, we sit down on the couch for Keto on the Couch, where we just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us on different social media platforms like Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. And we also have a website, which is twocrazyketos.com. And that's where you're gonna find all of our different recipes. Now we do upload at least five new videos every single week, so make sure that you're subscribed to our channel. And if you are subscribed, don't forget to hit the little bell icon and that way every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. Yeah, so like I said, Cinco de Mayo passed. I really miss like some Mexican food. It's been a long time since we've had some Mexican food. Mm -hmm. So I got to thinking, and you know, we have this nice Instant Pot. You got me a brand new Instant Pot for Christmas. We traded in our old one for a new one. You're welcome. We haven't really used it that much. Nope. So I thought this was a great opportunity for another episode of So Easy, uh. Even Rachel Can Make It. Hey, I thought this was gonna be like a regular video. Well, so if you're new to our channel, Rachel isn't a very good cook. So we've developed this new series everybody seems to really like, and these are recipes that are super easy to follow. Anybody could make them, including Rachel. Even Rachel. Now, speaking of Rachel, what's up with the giraffe outfit? Well, I did not know we were gonna be taming anything. I was like getting ready for bed, and I'm like You're in my jammies. You're getting ready for bed at 5.58 in the afternoon. Yeah, but I had gotten up this morning at like 3 a.m. You get up every morning at 3 a.m. So I was sort of done. It's like dark outside. I'm like a chicken. When it is dark outside, I start heading it's not toward even that dark out yet. the coop. Wow. I, Honey, I mean, you're only 42 years old. Like, stop acting like you're 90. I know. And well, I probably will be wearing a giraffe I'm outfit when that, I'm 90. I'm glad that I am married to a cute little giraffe. Thank you. So are you ready for this video? Well, I guess, except for the fact that it's so easy, Rachel can do it. Well, today we're going to make Mexican shredded chicken. Now, oh here's God. the thing. This recipe only needs a few ingredients. Okay. And I'm telling you. Not even you can screw you can't screw it up. Not even Caleb could screw this one up. Challenge this one accepted. It is super easy. We only need a few ingredients. So let's go over what we're gonna need. Okay. Obviously, the first thing we need is an instant pot. An instant pot. Okay. Or any kind of pressure cooker. This is actually the smart Wi-Fi one, but of course we're having so many problems with our internet, it's not connected to our Wi-Fi. So we're hopefully shocked. I remember how to use the buttons on the front. I can remember my grandmother had an old school pressure cooker and I was legitimately afraid of that thing. She would say, don't go near it when that little thing is spinning because it will burn your face off. Like it will blow up. I grew up with that. That's how I learned how to cook. My dad cooked all kinds of soups and stews. And yeah, he was like, that thing will explode. Be careful. I mean, the, night, the electric ones now... Super easy. You almost can't screw up with them. I so. know. But like when we first started getting them, I you was were a little terrified. I, I was that. completely terrified because it was like that campfire story of like the man with the golden arm. <laughs> and um, that's what this was. The cooking appliance that was like the equivalent of the man with the golden arm. But now they're super easy to use. Yeah, And there's so many different kinds. Again, you don't have to use Instant Pot. We they're just not going to get this one because we got a ridiculously good deal. I got it on Amazon at Christmas time. And I think we paid like $79 and this is the bigger one and it connects to your phone because of course I'm a technology geek. And they're not going to blow your face off. No. It's not going to blow your face off. <laughs> okay, so we need our Instant Pot. Then we need some chicken. And what do we okay. got here? So we got some chicken thighs, boneless, skinless. Chicken now, thighs. I just bought the, the boneless to make this super easy for Rachel, but you can actually use the bone in because of the way we're going to do this recipe. Are you basically saying that bones would be an obstacle 
to my cooking. Well, there is only one bone in a chicken thigh, but I would just wanted to show like this could be done super simple or with one extra step after you cook it, removing the bone, and you could cook it with the bone in there. This so is so we got a good deal. I paid a dollar ninety nine a cheap. pound for like this is almost four pounds. It's three point six three pounds of chicken. So we're gonna use the whole thing. Um, my recipe actually we're almost pretty much doubling my recipe. So. Okay. Okay. So we're gonna need that. We're gonna need some taco seasoning. Um, this is my own blend of taco seasoning. I have a link to the recipe for my taco seasoning down below. You wanna use this. You wanna use this, especially because a lot of the store-bought uh, ones, they're adding sugar, they're adding maltodextrin and everything like that. This is super easy, super simple. Um, so you good. probably have all of the spices already in your house. So you just combine them, you put them in a little container like this, and then whenever you want taco seasoning, Whenever you want to make just like some ground beef and add a little bit of Mexican seasoning, you can throw that right in there. Okay, so then we need so some cream cheese. My favorite. Okay, we need some kind of a salsa. And what you want to do is you want to find the lowest carb salsa you can find. This one, I believe we get this one Two from carbs. Aldi's, right? Two carbs per serving. Yeah, we get this from Aldi's, don't we? Mm -hmm. So this one, there's no sugar added to it. It's super cheap because it's coming from Aldi's. And there's only, this one's three carbs per serving. No, nope, one fiber. Oh, one fiber. So two net carbs. Good job. I didn't even see that. I'm looking at total carbs because we're total carbs people. So. I got your math. So two total carbs, uh, two net carbs, one, three total carbs. Um, this is probably my favorite salsa. The three sisters. Yep, we get this. Or two sisters. I think we get this. I just added a sister. <laughs> Sorry. I think we get this at either Walmart or I'd rather either Winn-Dixie or Publix. I don't really, really remember. And uh, this is two carbs as well. So this is really, really good. It's got some jalapeno in yeah, it. Yeah, that's uh, they have a couple different ones. Then we need some chicken broth or chicken stock, whichever one you want to use. Got this at all these, I know. And that's all we need. This is it? That's all we need. One, two, three, four, five, six things. That's it. Okay. So are you ready? Mm-hmm. You're in charge from here on out. Okay? God help so us all. So do you want to use this one or do you want to use this one? Which one do you want to use today? I want to use this one because not everybody is super up into the jalapeno. And okay. this is like, this is more mild. Okay. First thing you're going to do again, we're going to double our recipe, but I'm going to go through and I'm going to tell them what we're doing. And again, the link to this recipe will be down below. Okay. Okay. So I want you to put all of your chicken into your instant pot. Just open it up, throw it in there. I'm going to grab you a knife for your cream cheese. I think even I can open a package and put this in the Instant Pot. You're not supposed to butter the Instant Pot or anything? You don't have to put anything in it, just throw it in there. Now, the recipe that you're gonna see online is gonna call for two um, pounds of chicken. Are your hands all washed now? My hands are washed and I was thinking, can you imagine a giraffe in the wild making a chicken dish? <laughs> okay, are you ready? Yes. Okay, I've already measured out for you. You need uh, a half a cup of chicken stock or chicken broth. And again, so the recipe two, for two pounds, you're gonna use a quarter of a cup, but we're doubling our recipe. Okay. Okay. Then you're gonna need your cream cheese. For us, we're gonna use the whole block of cream cheese. If you're making this just the single recipe, you're gonna use a half a block, four ounces. Do you ever struggle to get this thing out? Yeah, that's why I got you a knife. Okay, because I'm like, sometimes it doesn't wanna leave. I like the Aldi's cream cheese because it's super cheap. It's like 99 cents yeah, right now. Yeah, I think now. we paid like, I think it was on sale for like 89 cents when I bought it. That's crazy. Okay, I'll take, Boom. you want to take that? Go yeah. ahead. Now, one cup of salsa. You would be normally, uh, brother, I'm sorry, two cups. It's one cup for the normal recipe, but we're doubling, so two cups. Every single time I hear the word salsa, I think of that Seinfeld episode where him and George, where Seinfeld and George are talking about salsa versus salsa. Like how do you order salsa, 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 salsa. All right. Mm. That's good right there. So dump that in there. Why don't we mix the two salsas? Do half of one and half of the other since we're done. Right, let's go ahead and dump that okay. in. You know what I'm saying? This way we'll get a little bit of kick from the other one, but not too kick. And the other one's Kind of more of like a picante or So not a salsa. kick in the face, maybe a kick in the shin. Yeah. Something you could recover from. You need me to open that? I See, do. I'm still good for something. This is a feat of strength. There we go. Oh, okay. All right, we can stay married. Okay, you ready? Yeah. So 
Wait, what is this? One cup? So you need two cups. Good. That's So you did one cup of one and one cup of the other. Obviously, you don't have to do this. I just figured we got them both out, so we'll do that. Go for it. Okay. Last thing you need? Mm-hmm. Your seasoning. How we're, much? We're gonna use six total tablespoons because we've doubled the recipe. Wow, okay. Which would normally be like two packets if you were buying packets, so. This stuff smells so good. Yeah, and again, this is so cheap to make. It's gonna have all the seasons like cumin, paprika, garlic powder, onion powder, chili powder. This would make a great scratch and stuff sticker. Don't lose count. No. This is four. Yeah, so again, and that's the problem is a lot of the store-bought ones, they have malpodextrin in them, they have sugar in them, all of that stuff. Six. You said six, that's right? That's it. Yep, six. That's it. Now we're going to put our top on. Okay. Let's see if you can get the top on. I don't think you've used this one, so. I have not. Over here. Oh, listen to it. Close it up. It's singing me a song. We're going to make sure it's on seal. Okay, is it sealed? Yep. Tw on high, 20 minutes. Okay, so again, you don't know how to use this one. Hit pressure cook. And press the up button to 20 minutes. Okay. And then hit the, uh, let it start. It should start automatically. Oh. Pressure. Okay. Okay, so that's it. 20 minutes. We'll come back and we'll show you guys what to do next. That's it? That's it. Told you, it's so easy. Even Rachel can make it. We'll see you guys in 20 minutes. Okay, so it's been 30 minutes. We let it cook for 20 minutes, and then we let it like slow release for another 10 minutes. It smells so good in this house right now. Well, it smells like you've done a great job. Are you ready to finish this one up? I am. Okay, so like I said, 10 minutes pressure, uh, slow release. We're gonna go ahead and just release the rest of the pressure. This is where it gets scared. Pretty much looks like it's done. Is our face gonna blow off? Well, I'm gonna cheat. What is that? Oh. I'm just pressing down the thing to get it to release faster. You're such a rebel. You're a rebel and you'll never ever be it, any good. Don't do what I do at home. Well, isn't that the opposite of what we're trying to do? Do what I do, not do what I say. Like, that's not helpful. I'm very impatient. Why is it connected to your Wi-Fi? Because I have to have the best one. <laughs> so you can, okay. can you can program it from your thing? You can program it from your, like, phone. You can, it'll alert your phone that you're done. Ooh, smell that. It is so bubbly and delicious in there. Mmm. I don't know if we can. Don't burn your face off. Look at that. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. I got you a pair of tongs there. And what you're gonna do, do you want me to do this part for you? Let Although you could do this. I got your nose. We're just, all we're gonna do is we're gonna reach in. And oh my gosh, that chicken is so perfectly cooked. We're gonna pull out the chicken. I love the Instant Pot because it's almost like it's a challenge to get the chicken out whole. Yeah. I mean, it, this it, chicken is cooked so tender. It's, look at that. It's just falling, falling apart. apart. And again, we doubled this recipe because I just bought a whole package. And we have two 18-year-old boys who will probably eat this entire thing in one sitting. Absolutely, they will. Okay. All right. What's left in there is the, the sauce and the cream cheese. All the good stuff. So there's two things left to do. Okay. okay. I'm going to let you start. You're going to take the two forks and basically what you want to do is shred up the chicken. Wow. You don't have to go overboard. Just shred it up and I'm going to go check on something real quick. Oh my goodness. This is already just like falling apart. How are you doing? I'm I'm shredding like a pro here. Okay. Well, it looks like you're pretty good there. Yeah. Okay. Next thing you're gonna do, now you can do this two different ways. I'm gonna un, un, uh, plug the pressure cooker here. 
You can either take your stock that you have in here, mm -hmm. you can pour it into a blender I have some guys and blend jumping it up, ship here. or you can just take your immersion blender and right in the pot. So which one would you rather do? Um, immersion blender in the pot. Okay. For the win. So there you go. So just go ahead in here and kind of blend it up. You want to get this into a nice, you know, sauce. Well, hold on. It's come, we have to... There you go. It's going from this beautiful, like, red color to, like, what happens when you mix all of the paint colors together. It's just, like, this brown. It's like dirty water. But it's not dirty water. It's deliciousness. No. You should probably move over. We're starting to be out of camera. Frame. Oh, sorry. Looks like you're pretty good there. Nice and blended. Yep. You just check it. I like that movie Blended. I love that you movie. Are, I like, well, that movie reminds me of our family. It does. Well, and I love Terry. If you didn't know, we are a blended family. We Rachel are. and I met, like John Paul and Anthony were my children that I had custody of. She had Caleb. We blended our family. and We're blending. <laughs> I love Terry Crews in that movie. Okay, so here's what you're gonna do. Okay. Take all your chicken right back into the pot. Well, that seems easy enough. You wanna just pick up the plate and. Oh, okay. I guess that would be easier. What are you doing trying to make it easier on me? Mmm. This reminds me of what is that Ropa Vieja dish that's like a Spanish dish? I think it means old clothes. And it's like that, just like the shredded meat and sauce. Please tell me we are about to taste test this. You absolutely are gonna taste test this. And because this smells okay. so good. So are you ready? I was born Guess ready. Guess what? Yes. You're done. No, I'm not. You're done. So, how long did it take you to actually put all the ingredients in there? Maybe a minute? Yeah. A minute to put it in there, 20 minutes to cook, another minute to shred up your chicken. That's it. I'm a so pro. Two minutes of actually cooking work, 20 minutes of sitting in an instant pot. Now that is my kind of recipe. It's absolutely a recipe that even Rachel can cook. Okay. Okay, let me grab you a fresh plate. Mm-hmm. We'll go ahead and we will plate this. Wait, not yet. Let's do this professionally. I'm so excited. Plus, we have to have some photos for our website. Oh, yeah. So what we'll do is we'll serve it on maybe a couple of pieces of lettuce. Grab some nice pieces in I was going to say, get some purdy ones. Okay. Okay. Let me grab you a, you want to grab your tongue? Grab that, and then we have a nice spoon to put a little bit of sauce over it. Mm -hmm. Just put a nice little batch on there. Just put it on there. Is that good? All right. Is that good? I think that's good. Why don't we... A little bit, a little bit of sauce. I think you're pretty soft in there. Now, don't put too much. You won't be able to pick it up. Top it off with, like, a little bit of cheddar cheese. Yum. Go a little bit of sour cream. Got to go sour cream. Look at this. I actually picked a pretty decent avocado. That, I don't know how I managed that one. I was going to say, we're terrible at choosing avocados. We, we get them way too early, and then you're like waiting, Well, the waiting, problem is... Waiting. Oh, nope, it's overripe. I'm super cheap, so we buy them in the bag because it's normally cheaper in the bag. Well, here's the problem. Now when they're in the bag, some of them are great, and some of them are like overdone, right? Yeah. Okay. Yum, look how pretty. Let's go ahead and show that to them. That is beautiful. But now is the real test. What does it taste like? Well, do you want to take it off of this or do you want to just taste it without all this stuff on it? We probably want to taste it without all yeah. the stuff on it, right? So let me grab that other, let me grab a fresh plate for you. 
because I want to see like what does it actually taste like. Look at that. Take a look at that without all the stuff on there. It is moist. It's moist? Yeah. All right, let's try it. Dude, that is Flavortown right there. Oh my goodness. I got to go back in. Got to blow on it because it's like... It's a little hot. It's molten lava. Pretty good? Rachel? That is awesome. We're going to make a cook out of you yet. Man. That I'm, was really good. You did a great job. I am so excited. I can't believe it. That came out really, really well. So let's go over the macros real quick. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, let's start off with, first of all, again, we doubled the recipe. We're going right. to go buy one recipe uh, for a single recipe that's going to be two pounds of chicken thighs. My feeling is two pounds of chicken thighs, realistically, especially in our family, that's going to be four servings. Like each I person's like getting a half thinking. pound of chicken thigh. Absolutely. But you can make it whatever you want. I mean, you can say like this makes six servings. You can make two servings out of it, which mm -hmm. is probably how Rachel wants me to make it, right? Two servings. You got it. So based on four servings, we're going to be at 400 calories, you mm -hmm. know, for one serving. Uh, it's going to be 20 grams of fat. Mm -hmm. It's going to be 47 grams of protein. Again, we're using chicken. chicken. So we're a little bit higher, but we can up the fat in so many Did different you ways. Beef? Uh, you could you definitely use a lower cut beef, like maybe a brisket, something like that. Something that will do really well in your instant pot. You mm -hmm. can even, you can do pork, mm. you know, go get a pork butt, something like that. You know, any but. kind of, any kind of pork, stick that in there. That'll up the fat a little bit. Uh huh. You know, again, we're adding some avocado to it. We're adding some sour cream. That's going to up the fat because yeah. we're only talking about the macros of the chicken dish right. itself. Right. Okay. So 47 grams of protein. It's going to be six total carbohydrates. Nice. One gram of fiber. So that's going to be five net carbs. For the whole meal. For the whole meal. Then we're going to add in, obviously, our lettuce, our avocado, our cheese, whatever like that. So by the time you're done, you're probably about a 60% fat meal by the time you're adding in avocado and stuff, whatever that's you really want to nice. put on the side. And it is delicious. It's I delicious and it's easy. Now ours, because we use the jalapeno salsa like as half of the recipe, um, it's, it's got, got a, a little, little bit, kick. but not too much because no. that really is a milder jalapeno salsa. But if you are making it for kiddos, yep, make it with all mild. Yep, they're gonna love it. And again, now the key to keeping the carbs low on this is going to be the ingredients you use. Find like good cream cheese, like yeah. the Aldi's cream cheese is very good, the Philadelphia cream cheese. But you know, watch some of the cream cheeses; they add some stuff mm -hmm. to it. You know be great with the Kite Hill cream cheese. That oh, would, Kite Hill cream what? cheese really up your fat on it, well, lower your carbohydrates. And use Joe's taco seasoning blend. Use my taco seasoning blend. There's no added salt and added sugar to it. Um, so, and again, the, the sauce is the key. Yeah. Okay, so you want to go and make sure you're getting a salsa with as low carbs as possible. If you don't have salsa, you can even like add in, just like dice up some plum tomatoes, throw that in there with maybe a chopped up pepper. Yeah. You know, that kind of thing. You're going to get the same result. Yeah. But salsa, the whole idea of this was easy, right? Easy. Anybody can throw some chicken, throw some cream cheese, throw some taco seasoning, and throw some salsa in there. Even Rachel. The nice thing about the Instant Pot, you can even use frozen. If you have some frozen chicken thighs in your freezer... Throw them in there, add 10 more minutes to your cooking time, cook from frozen, it comes out perfect. How many times have we been like, oh, it's dinner, whoops, we didn't thaw anything out. Absolutely. Love now, the again, pot. going back to what we said when we first started the video, obviously I bought boneless chicken thighs to make it easy on you, yeah. but if you don't have boneless chicken thighs, you can buy bone chicken thighs. We get them all the time. I just buy the bone-in chicken thighs, which sometimes can be a pain to remove, even though it's only yeah. one bone, right? Yeah. You buy the bone-in chicken thighs. Mm -hmm. You throw it in there. When you pull it out, that bone is going to pull gonna come right, right out. out. And now, instead of paying $1.99 a pound for boneless, skinless chicken thighs, mm -hmm. you're paying $0.69, $0.79, cents, $1 a pound for it. Remove that skin. Throw it in your air fryer with a little bit of duck fat sprayed on it or something like that. And now you we're talking nice, happy. Now you got some nachos to go with it because that skin will make a nice nacho. What? Yeah. Whole nother level. Yeah. 
whole nother level. So that is our video for today. Hopefully we've helped you guys out. If you make this recipe, do us a favor. Let us know down yeah. below. Let us know if you make any variations. Do you use pork? Do you use like a brisket type of meat? Mm -hmm. Like how have you changed it up? Let us know down below. And again, if you guys have any recipes that you think are really easy to make, let us know down below in the comment section or you can send us an email at twocrazyketos at gmail.com. If you think they're super simple to make, we will have... What? Keep on, keep on keeping on. Okay, if you think that you've got a super easy recipe, send it to us because like, I wanna have as many videos as possible that are so easy that even Rachel can make them. You just love saying that, don't you? I really love saying it. I think I'm gonna put the jingle back up right now. Twice in the same video. Oh yeah, because I love that jingle. <laughs> That seems like a touch much. So if you like what you saw, do us a favor, hit the like button down below. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the little bell icon. And that way, every single time we upload a new video, if Joe is still alive and I let him continue living, you'll be alerted to well, it. Well, you also want to see what kind of silly, stupid outfit she's wearing in our next video. So until next time. Bye. Bye. Bye.